My name is Jenna and I have planned a restorative class for you. Um, and for this restorative class, I'm going to be at the end playing some sound bowls for a little sound bath. Um, and also I have recommended two pillows. So I just got two throw pillows off of my bed that you can use any pillows, couch pillows or cushions and one blanket. So I just have one of my regular couch blankets um, that I use. And so you can have those things please ready if you want to pause it and go and get um, those things and then come back and then we'll go ahead and get started. So we're going to begin first by getting our props ready. So if you've never taken a restorative class before, um, it's very different than some other styles of yoga in that we don't move very much at all. In fact, we hold poses anywhere from three to 10 minutes. So you might find yourself getting a little bit fidgety, or you might find yourself into this deep state of relaxation, maybe even bordering on sleep. So um, the trick here is to try to stay as still as possible. Try to allow the thoughts to just come and go without attaching yourself to any of them. And um, to really just try to deeply relax. So um, sometimes at home, it can be a little bit harder to sort of let go of distractions, especially if you have kids or pets or sounds happening outside. So know that all of that is okay. And that um, you can, if you find your mind wandering or getting distracted, maybe just label your thoughts thinking and then come back to your breath. So um, let's start by first getting your blanket. We'll take your blanket and find a way to maybe make it about this shape so that you're able to roll it up into a blanket roll that's, mine is pretty thick, so I think I'm only gonna roll mine a quarter of the way or maybe halfway in. Cause we're gonna begin with legs up the wall and this blanket is gonna come underneath the nape of your neck. So when you get onto your back, you might choose to roll it up more or unroll it. So a lot of this is going to be what um, some teachers call the Goldilocks idea of too much, not too little, just finding that happy place right in the middle. So as we come into these poses, feel free to fidget to get your body into a comfortable position so that way you're able to truly and fully relax when, um, when we begin. So start by taking your blanket roll and one of your pillows near the wall. And then we'll come to sit right on the edge of your pillow, maybe even on the floor right next to your pillow and keep that blanket roll that you made pretty close by in front of the pillow. So it's sitting on the floor and your shoulder up against the wall, we'll take your hands onto the floor and put your butt on the wall. Once you're there, drop one of your shoulders down and roll until you're able to take your legs straight up the wall with the heels against the wall. And then you can adjust that blanket roll under your neck. So it feels like it's truly supporting the nape of your neck. Maybe the back of your head is just lightly touching the floor, if not at all. Either way, whatever feels good to keep back your head light. Your arms, they can come wherever feels comfortable. It might feel nice to cactus. Maybe take the hands under the blanket, maybe on your body or alongside your body. Wherever feels right. Now, I'm gonna come out of this pose. You all can stay. I'm going to set timers for this practice. And just begin to deepen and soften your breath. Start to let your body land on the floor. Let your breath arrive into your body. Now as we begin in this waterfall pose or legs up the wall, imagine reversing the blood flow of your legs your feet down to your knees to the hips and down into the belly and the chest and now as you relax here start to deepen your breath make each Inhale a count of four, three, two, one, and then an exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhaling four, three, two, one. Exhale four, three, two, 
One, inhale, four. Exhale, four. Inhale, four. Exhale, four. Inhale for four. And this time, when you get to the top of four, hold for four. And then let it go for four. And now hold at the bottom for four. Inhale for four. Hold at the top for four. And exhale for four. And hold at the bottom for four. One more time, inhaling for four. Hold at the top four. Three, two, one. Exhale four, three, two, one. And then just take a big inhale. And a full exhale, maybe sighing it out. <sighs> Notice any sensations in the body. See any points of tension where maybe you can release the weight of your body a little heavier into the floor. And begin to really just let the stress from your day just melt off your shoulders into the ground, feeling held, knowing that in just this moment, everything is okay. In just this moment, you have everything you need. In just this moment, give yourself just this moment to simply be. Feel the power of the silence underneath any sounds you might hear around you. Feel the power of the silence underneath any sounds inside of you. Now, as we start to begin to create space between our thoughts, we start to notice that that space between is where lives that little relief of bliss. Feel how with each exhale, you can ease a little bit more into that bliss state. Almost like the skin could just melt over your bones. This is your time to completely and totally let go Feeling your body just pool on the floor like water. Now take a few more breaths here. Deep breaths in and deep breath out. begin to just contemplate what it might be like to move a little bit here. 
Now you can stay in this pose for as long as feels right for you if you'd like to stay a little longer. When you feel ready, begin to just bring some small subtle movements into your body. Wiggling fingers and toes. And then eventually bend your knees, taking your feet flat onto the wall. And then we'll roll over onto your right side, curled up in a little ball there. And then pausing there for a few breaths, just giving yourself a moment, feeling the blood rush back into your lower half. And then we'll take your top hand down onto the floor, keeping your head heavy, start to press yourself up, coming up to a seat. And we'll set up for our next few postures here. So now we'll take your blanket roll and adjust it if it's come unrolled towards the back of your mat. It'll still support your neck. If you ever get cold at any point in this practice, you might choose to pause and get another blanket for underneath, for over your body. And for this pose, it'll be a twist. So we'll come to lay down with, a, with one of your pillows between your knees and then fix that blanket roll so it's back underneath your neck again. And now we'll take your other pillow to the left side of your mat. So it's just kind of over there, about the same height of your hip. And then move your hips a little to the right, place them down, and let your knees fall to the left. And then again, similar to the legs up the wall pose, your arms can go wherever feels comfortable. You can reach them side to side, cactus on your body. If you'd like a little deeper twist, remove the pillow out from under your knees, and you might choose to place it off to the side someplace. So again, knees off to the left, arms can be wherever feels comfortable. And then once you get there, adjust anything that needs to be adjusted. Feel into your physical body, feel if there's anything that could be more comfortable. And if there is, make the adjustment now. Let your body fall back into that deep conscious relaxation as quickly and as possible as possible. As quickly and efficiently as possible. Now, just come back to that breath again. Maybe that four in and four out. Holding any pauses if that feels right for you. Seeing how deeply you're able to let go here. You, you feel the ground yield to the weight of your body. Feel the ground underneath you, if it's warm or is it cold, is it soft, is it firm? just noticing without the context of whether it's good or bad or what you like or don't like. It's simply just feeling into what it is. As you start to let go of your grip on the way you think things are, you begin to open up to the possibility of what things could be what divinity there is for you in this moment, what richness you can imagine in your environment. Scanning almost as if they were new sounds you've never heard before. Feel yourself just opening up to the mystery
Keep your breath moving soft and slow. Each exhale a little longer and slower than the previous breath. Just a few more breaths here on this side. When you feel ready, draw the knees back up through center. Shift your hips a little over to the left. Maybe take the pillow to the other side. And let your knees fall to the opposite side in a twist. Making as little movement as possible between sides. And then making your body absolutely and completely comfortable again on the floor. And turning back into your physical stillness.
continue to let your breath just come in and out, soft and slow. Maybe imagining like waves on a beach, washing in with each inhale, and washing out with each exhale. Take just a few more breaths here. ready, roll all the way over onto your side, drawing your left shoulder over your right. Slide the pillow out from between your knees, and then we'll press up to a seat. And while the pillow goes between your knees, we'll take that right by the blanket there, and it's going to come right under your shoulders. The other pillow will come underneath your knees. And as you come to lay back on the pillow, it'll feel like a big opening across your chest. The blanket will stay behind your neck again. You might roll it up a little more if it doesn't feel like it's supporting you anymore. And the legs can straighten with the pillow underneath the knees. Now, if you would like to have a little more support for your low back, keep the knees bent more and just let them knock in towards one another. Arms again can go wherever feels right for you. Palms face up or down maybe cactus or on your body. You can adjust this pillow one or two times if it feels like it's not in the right spot. Generally a little lower than you think will give you the most benefits of the heart opener. And again, if you need any blankets over you can book hold, pause, go make yourself comfortable, and then come back. And then once you are in your posture, just close your eyes and take a few more big deep breaths. Each breath in, bringing space, and each breath out, creating space. Finding that just space between the inhales and the exhales, can you notice the exact moment that the inhale transitions to exhale and the exhale transitions to inhale? And just fine tuning your breath, your attention to the breath, followed by Surrendering your body into the floor and the props.
Take just a few more breaths here in this pose. From here, begin to bend the knees if they're not bent already. And roll over to one side. So you can just move the pillow that's underneath your shoulders off to the side, out from underneath you. And then we'll take the pillows outside of your hips on the floor. And then bring the soles of your feet together and the knees wide so it feels like the pillows are holding your legs up. So getting your, the pillows even a little bit underneath your glutes might help with that. And then again, arms, wherever feels comfortable, making any adjustments you need here. And this will be our final pose before Shavasana. So now you always have the ability to stay in a pose longer. You can stay in this pose for your Shavasana if it's your favorite. And just begin to deepen your breath. Relaxing the muscles of your inner thighs and feel how with each exhale you can feel that gentle pull of gravity as the muscles relax any contraction.
Now we'll take a few more breaths here. And we can always stay. Our next pose is Shavasana. This might feel really nice to end your practice exactly as you are. And if you would like to move, you could just draw the knees up towards the ceiling and slip the pillows under the back of your thighs for support. Take a blanket over you if you'd like. Make any adjustments you need to feel as comfortable as you possibly can for your final resting pose, your Shavasana. And once you come into your final resting pose, take a few more rounds of that square breath, letting your next inhale come in for a count of four. And exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, four, three, two, one. Exhaling, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, four, Holding this time at the top for four, two, one. And exhaling four. And holding at the bottom for four, two, one. Inhaling. Holding at the top for four, one. And exhaling four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom, three, two, inhaling. And exhaling, holding at the bottom, and inhaling fully to the top. And let it go this time. <sighs> Putting your body completely and totally relax into your final resting pose here, your Shavasana. Feel the parts your body that are touching the floor get a little heavier. And now imagine that right above the crown of your head is a ball of white light. Imagine that that light is warm and you can feel it radiating across the top of your head, that gentle warmth like the sun. Now imagine that light passing in through the crown of your head and passing down until it hits right behind your third eye, between the eyebrows deep in the skull. And imagine that light changes to the color purple as it just swirls around there, around your forehead, back of the head, and your center of intuition. Clearing away any fears of things that just aren't going to happen. Allowing us to see things clearly and act from a higher perspective. And then move that light down into your throat as it transitions to the color blue, helping us to clear away any difficulties with communication, feeling heard and powerful to speak your truth. Moving that light down into your heart center in the center of your ribs. Imagine it softening the front, the back as that light changes to the color bright emerald green. Imagine the warmth from the inside out. Taking a few breaths there. So it just massages around your heart, the sides, the back. And then move that light down into your solar plexus as it transitions to the color orange right above your navel, filling up right around your diaphragm and our sense of self, our ego, finding the balance. Moving that light down into your sacral 
region right below your belly button above your pubic bone as that light transitions to the color yellow in your center of emotions clearing away any old emotions that aren't serving you right now and then connecting that light down into the tailbone and the basin of your pelvis as it transitions to the color red illuminating the entirety of your pelvic floor, feeling your root chakra, the place that first developed when you were born, your sense of safety, grounding. And then moving that light back up from red to orange, right around your pubic bone, up to yellow, above the belly button, to green in your heart, blue in the throat, purple behind the eyes and back out the crown of your head to that bright white light again, just hovering there, maybe a little brighter, a little bigger. And then imagine that light just slowly fading off as it sort of fades off into the sky like a balloon you released. Imagine you could just patiently watch it get smaller and smaller in the distance.
Shivaya Gurave Sachitananda Murtae Mishra Panchaya Shantaya Niranambaya Tejase Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sachitananda Murtae Mishra Panchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Tejase Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sachitananda Murtae Mishra Panchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Tejase the parts of your body that are touching the ground again you feel the gravity feel the lightness across the front of your body and then when you feel ready start to bring any small movements back into your body maybe taking the fingers and the toes you might choose to stay exactly as you are for as long as you want you're at home you can do it if you'd like to end on a seated meditation for a moment with me, if you can roll over to one side or press yourself up your way to a comfortable seat, maybe sitting up on one of your pillows or that blanket there. And then if you're coming to a seat, or you can do this on your back as well, take your left hand over your heart center and take your right palm face up on your lap and close your eyes. And imagine each inhale, you could feel your heart fill up with love, compassion, and kindness. And with each exhale, you could send it out down your arm, out your fingertips, into the world. And imagine with each inhale, you could bring it up your arm, back up into your heart, filling up from the universe. And exhale, sealing it into your heart. Inhale into your heart center. Loving, kindness, compassion moving out through your arm with your exhale out the fingertips. Inhaling back up through the fingertips, receiving from the universe up to the heart. And exhaling, sealing it into your heart. One more time, inhaling, loving, kindness, compassion in your heart. Exhaling, sending it out through your fingertips. Inhale up through the fingertips, up the arm, into your heart. With your exhale, take your right hand over your left, sealing it in. And just take a few more grounded, deep breaths here. Resting in this state of pure consciousness. Breath in, pull you all the way up, expansive, big, bright. Then sigh it out as you bow the head down towards your chest. Pausing here for a moment of gratitude for all of your efforts, for your community, even digitally. 
And for all the teachers who continue to pass down this practice, past, present, future, in every way that we're able to. And the light and the teacher that lives inside of me bows and shines before the teacher and the light inside of you. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you all so much for sharing a little bit of your practice here with me. Um, if you're curious about the singing bowls, uh, I have here a G, which is the throat, um, F, which is associated with the heart, and E, which is the solar plexus. Um, so that's what I was playing for you today. I hope that you find this practice really useful for you in this time. If there's a pose that you especially love, um, feel free to slip it in your back pocket and use it um, as often as you need. And I'm so happy that you're continuing to practice yoga here with us. Um, I'm really grateful to have these forms of technology to still be able to interact with my community in these, in these ways. So thank you and namaste.